Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division title. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 11 wins, five losses. She stands five feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Presenting the challenger, Tisha the Tiny Tornado Torres. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, three losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Caitlin Blofighter. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, the tension and the buzz is palpable as this fight gets started. Interesting stylistic matchup. Your thoughts on what we might see? This is a big-time matchup between a fantastic striker and a great all-around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. Circling to her right. Can't take many of those. You better check. Nice job to land the straight punch there. So you thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Instead, decides to go back to her bread and butter, her striking, and certainly found the target there. She blocked the punch. 
well she's able to connect on the punch there, DC, really making good use of her reach advantage. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Big kick land. Torres has got the tie clinch now. Right under the elbow. Body kick land. Oh, big head kick. Back and forth we go. And they separate. And she caught the kick. Torres has got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. Beautiful body kick. All right, so no surprise. Oh, they're all the way into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play, because this fight is about done. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Torres gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukaki. Oh, that's an outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast to the target. What a great job. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice body kick. 30 seconds now to go in round one. And they set. Nice punch by Torres. Oh, stuff you to take out without issue. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. You know, she kicks like a mule, and that kicking game was on full display in that round, champ. And you see the damage that it's done to her opponent. Her opponent's limping back to the corner. She's moving much more slowly as the fight is going on. That was a great game plan developed by her and her coaches. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to be heard. I don't know why it would change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will in turn put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. Oh, really using her reach advantage. She did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. Big knee lands there. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! Oh my god! Oh, straight right! Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves on. 40 oh. total strikes. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there! Big kick lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh, there it is, right to the outside of that lead leg, she lands the kick. She did a great job of landing that outside leg. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. 
Oh, how about the slip fire there? I was about to call that out as a land. Her head is moving tonight. It does not take much to really avoid a strike, and she does it as well as anybody we've ever seen. Oh, nice job by her to land a knee to the body. Her size advantage certainly helped on that exchange. She missed with that jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Straight right hand, but she misses. 30 seconds to go. Pretty good kicks there by Torres. What a strike by her there. I can knock down her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get out of the She's got to get out of the center of the octagon. Find some space so that she can evade her opponent to finish you. All right, that's the end of round number two. So there's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Oh, pinpoint execution on that straight punch. She's got to reach advantage. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success with this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side under her, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing. Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. We're going to win her by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Caitlin Robita Jupiter. All right, so she will head home the way she arrived as the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion as she gets it done by knockout here tonight. She was so dismissive of this challenger, and maybe with this result you see as to it. I mean, when you start to put so many title defenses together, you start to see that.